Hi everyone, welcome to Bye Juice Exam Prep YouTube channel. कैसे आप लोग एक बार कमेंट बॉक्स में फटाफट से मुझे जरूर बताइएगा और अपने सारे दोस्तों के साथ इस वीडियो को शेयर करना ना भूलें। Today in this session we are going to talk about Engineering Services Examination versus Gate Examination versus IRMS जो कि एक काफी controversial examination हो चुका है इस साल का। so, फटाफट से एक बार प्लीज ज्वाइन कर लीजिए एंड लेट एवरीबॉडी नो दैट वी आर लाइव एंड प्लीज शेयर दिस सेशन विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड जस्ट हिट द लाइक बटन एज सुन एज यू आर ज्वाइनिंग दिस सेशन तो भाई कैसे आप लोग एक बार जरा बताइए फटाफट फिर शुरू करते हैं सेशन को आराम से सब लोग के क्या हालचाल है एवरीवन इन द कमेंट बॉक्स लेट मी नो क्विकली बेटा चलिए 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 हाउ आर यू ऑल Good, superb, superb, superb. Right, sir. So in this session, मैं एक बार आपको brief कर देता हूँ. What are the things that we are going to talk about? Before that, I'll just quickly introduce myself. If you are here for the first time, so my name is Joshit Singh, and I have four year of teaching experience now. I'm M Tech from IIT Roorkee from Hydraulic Engineering Branch. So before I begin, let me tell you about a free workshop as well. Where Rakesh Talreja sir, Rakesh Talreja sir is going to tell you the detailed one-year preparation strategy for GATE 2024 on 26th of March 12:30 PM. So do join this free workshop on Baidu's exam prep application. Yes sir. So चलिए बात करते हैं what we are going to talk about in today's session. So today we are going to talk about GATE and ESC. IRMS actually the thing is that uh, it is being notified by UPSC that now IRMS will not be conducted uh, separately for the engineering students. IRMS uh, all the positions will be filled from the UPSC civil services only. Abhi tak, next year kuch hota hai to wo next year dekha jayega. But at least what are the things that we are having, the things that we are clear with. उनके बारे में आज बात करते हैं एक बार जरा फटाफट से शेयर कर दीजिए अपने दोस्तों के साथ जिससे कि सब लोगों को फायदा हो जाए इस वीडियो के साथ सो so, हां जी सर मिनिमम एम टेक इन आई थ्रू गेट सीजीपीए रिक्वायरमेंट ज्यादातर तो छह होती है स्पेशल केसेस में काम हो जाए तो पता नहीं छह साढ़े छह ही चलता है जनरली तो ठीक है तो पैटर्न uh, बात करते हैं आज स्ट्रैटेजी बात करते हैं और दोनों आपको लेने चाहिए क्या दोनों में से बेटर क्या है वॉट इज बेटर बिटवीन दीज टू फॉर यू दैट ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक सो वॉट टू चूज द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ मच टाइम इज रिक्वायर टू प्रिपेयर वॉट आर द डिफरेंसेज इन अप्रोच वाई इज गवर्नमेंट कंडक्टिंग टू डिफरेंट पेपर फॉर सेम इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट आई नो यू हैव ऑल दीज डाउट एंड विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल ऑफ देम कीप शेयरिंग द सेशन सो दैट मोर पीपल कैन गेट द बेनिफिट ऑफ दिस class of this session i'm not here just to tell the this information this much ppt to just two three students okay i have made this ppt so that everyone and i would say most of the students can get the benefit out of this particular session so there will be uh, if we talk about engineering service examination first let me talk about its uh, what are the benefit uh, what are the pattern what is the pattern how many marks are going to be asked everything i'm going to talk about so three type of questions are asked in any examination if i talk about first all the examination technical examination first type of question that they ask you is the conceptual question where they will be asking the question related to the concept right whatever the concept will be asked they are going to ask the question from the concept only then second type of question will be formula based so directly you will be needing to apply the formula and get the answer from that particular question for that particular question and third are the database database are basically the question where factual data is being asked in the question these type of question may be asked in msq sometimes but yes these are the question which are generally asked in one mark or you can say for lesser number of marks database so in any examination these three type of, can you please share the session everyone first please share this and then i'll continue Quickly, I will un unlock continue from here. Please share the session first, and then we'll continue. I need to see students in the class, and then only we can uh, move ahead. 
otherwise it's okay we can close the session as well i have no problem with that Let me know whenever we can continue. I'll begin from there only. So I was telling you there are three type of questions that they will be asking you in the examination: conceptual, formula based, data based. The percentage may vary. The weightage may vary exam to exam. So uh, if I talk about gate examination, 50% questions are conceptual based. If you are clear with the concept, then 50% questions you can make in the gate examination. 45 are formula based question if we see in gate examination and data based are just 5%. Whereas in engineering service examination, all three type of questions are divided into three equal parts, 35%, 35% and 30% which are almost equal for like in comparison to the other type of questions. So this happens because in gate examination, they are more interested in depth in asking the question which are, you know, very uh, in depth, right, from the syllabus. Whereas in engineering service examination, they ask you broad syllabus. So that's the basic difference, and that is the reason why this much percentage or weightage variation is there in these two examination in three type of questions. Now, if we talk about the ESC exam pattern, so the first thing that you should understand is there will be uh, stage one in which prelims will be taking place, MCQ. Right in prelims, what will be happening is there will be uh, two papers. In prelims only, there will be two papers. First will be GS and aptitude, and second will be from the technical domain, from whichever branch you are. It is going to be from there. Now, out of 500, 100 questions will be asked in your GS part, which is the non-tech part. Whereas the uh, the question, uh, the duration that you will be having will be just two hours for your. GS and aptitude portion, right? I'll just uh, disappear myself from the screen so that you can clearly see what we are having here. So out of this GS and uh, engineering aptitude syllabus, you will be having two hours and 100 questions. Whereas from technical domain, you will be having three hours to solve 150 questions and they will be of 300 marks. So 200 marks, aapka non-tech and technical is 300. So prelims will be comprising of 500 marks and that two questions will be MCQ in nature in engineering service examination. Moving on to the stage two. Now in stage two, you have mains examination. Mains examination, again, there will be two papers and these two papers will be conventional only. All right, they will be conventional only. And the total syllabus, suppose if you are having 12 subjects in your branch, then six subjects will be asked in paper one and another one, another left out syllabus, paper two will be asked, right? And this will be purely technical and purely conventional. This is very important. Third stage of engineering services examination, what you are having is the interview. In interview, obviously, it will be verbal and it will be of 200 marks. So on, uh, all in all, you can say total 1300 marks are there in engineering services examination out of which you have to secure a rank. Cool. So this was about engineering service examination. Any doubts, please write down in the comment box. Kisi ko koi doubt iske regarding? Anyone? Superb. Moving on to the next thing and that is the gate pattern, right? So in gate pattern, there will be another, you know, 100 marks. Total, the gate paper will be of 100 marks. And total duration of the examination will be three hours. And there will be 65 questions out of which 30 questions will be of one marks and 35 questions will be of two marks. So total 100 marks are going to be asked in gate examination. Now, what is that type of question they are asking in examination of gate? So three type of question they are asking MCQ, MSQ and NAT. MCQ simple four options will be given to you in the exam out of four one will be correct only MSQ four options will be given to you one or more than one option may be correct in MSQ 
NAT, there will be no options given to you. Purely, you have to type your answer. The final answer that you will be getting, you have to type it. MCQ is the only type of questions in GATE where negative marking will be there, 1 by 3. And MSQ and NAT, there will be no negative marking. Now, let's see the weightage, how it is divided. So, out of 100 marks, 72% or 72 marks are going to be asked from technical portion of your branch. 13 marks will be asked directly from engineering mathematics and remaining 15% is common and that is for aptitude. So this 28 marks, maths plus aptitude is common for all the branches. Only this 72 marks will be different and will vary branch to branch. Branch, jo bhi aapki branch hai, uske according, they are going to vary. Okay, now let's talk about the next thing and that is the job profile. In IES, if you go for engineering services examination, the job profile is very technical and uh, there is usually no political interference in your, uh, you can say, profession. But yeah, there may be, there may be a slight political interference sometimes depending upon your department and the posting where you are. Pay scale is same as pay level 10, uh, gazetted officer ka hota hai. it is same only for this as well. And yes, there is a power which you are be you will be having apart from just the salary, there will be a lot of perks as well. If you, uh, if you choose PSU from gate examination, if you choose to go for PSU, then you will be assigned as a techno managers. Okay, you will be posted at a very good position that to again technical and managerial position. Okay, there will be managerial position you will be having. Right, political interference is completely zero. Pay level is again equivalent to 10. And power is, uh, I would say, uh, not in terms of the society. But in general, yes, slightly because of your position, right? Next is if you want to uh, secure like under 100 rank in gate examination. So how much marks you need to secure in gate? So I have the data for all the branches. For example, if we look at the uh, mechanical, right? So mechanical students can clearly see that if they want to secure a rank under 100, they have to secure about 85 to 87 marks. Computer science students have to secure around 70 to 75 marks. CA, uh, civil 78 to 85, EC 62 to 67, double E 84 to 87. These are the marks that you need to secure. And apart from this, if you want to secure, then that is also mentioned in this table. Right. So here, uh, the exam pattern, as I have told you already, this is uh, the exact same thing. Cool. Now, let me just uh, quickly give you the overall summary as well of these two exams and then I'll close this session. So, time for preparation of EASE is generally uh, 12 months, right, because syllabus is vast. Gate 8, to, 8 months to 1 year is sufficient. PYQ and syllabus coverage is very important and uh, PYQ is important but not to build the concept but to understand the weightage of the topic, that which topic is more important in comparison to other. Not much content of paper one, that is the problem here. Because uh, 2017 only they have started uh, this syllabus. So there is not a lot of a content available in the market, right, for paper one. And uh, for gate, you have several books. Exam success leads to a government job. So if you get a I mean, get a good score and you get selected, you directly get a job. But here, low score gives you nothing. Medium score gives you, you know, confusion whether you should uh, uh, continue uh, preparing or you should uh, do something else. High score will give you IIT and best score will lead to job only. Syllabus same but large theory, concept and numerical. Syllabus same but less theory, good concept and very high level of numerical will be asked. Speed will be matter, okay. There will be a, you know, very important uh, factor speed. But speed is not a concern here. Okay, accuracy is more important. Not take part fully different from gate. So this is the basic difference between gate and engineering services examination. So this is what I had to tell you. I hope out of these two, you have got the clear idea that which exam suits you. From my end, I would say if you are in third year, right? 
so you can go for both right or if you are in final year then you should go for any one if you are only preparing for this examination right means you are passed out then please prepare for both only one thing is different and that is the non tech part right 56 marks in civil any best iit kharagpur you can choose guwahati you can choose maybe and roorkee you can choose right so i think that's it that's it what i had for you today's session i hope you liked it if you really liked it you can hit the like button share the session with your friends and thank you so much for joining have a nice day good night